hello everybody this is Raj Shekhar here recently I have been uh, looking into this web scraping uh, how to do uh, what are the best uh, best technologies that are available in the market and I happen to come across uh, with this uh, this thing called storm crawler this is built on top of the uh, Apache storm so uh, as you might be knowing uh, web scrolling is a tedious job wherein like you are digging into uh, different links and you know you are working on uh, billions of or millions of pages and when we have such scenario our distributed computation would uh, definitely help uh, help the uh, process so that is why uh, this uh, straw, Apache Storm was used. So you know Apache Storm is a distributed uh, distributed computation. It does a distributed computation as well as its speed is uh, it's it's uh, really awesome. So so that is why they have used the uh, Apache Storm and. Um, this uh, coming to this uh, storm crawler storm crawler is uh, nothing but uh, you know extended version uh, of apache nudge wherein apache nudge if you have worked on it it it, it gives a lot of features out of the box like uh, uh, you know filtering the uh, filtering the urls and uh, you know managing what are the urls that are already processed and not processed if it is already processed then it will not process the same URL again so that they use a crawl DB for this purpose and um, and uh, and uh, yeah so in this storm crawler um, it the as, as I told right it is an extended version of Apache Nudge uh, it, it gives a it gives a distributed computation uh, as an additional feature considering the volume of the web pages we will be scrolling and um, uh, and also the uh, apart from this the best feature i found is you know the uh, components uh, like uh, you know url filter or you know your fetcher uh, fetcher activity or your you know uh, web page parser or indexer indexer or uh, you know separate entities so they are configured as bolts in apache uh, storm world and they are uh, very much uh, uh, customizable uh, as per your use case so if uh, as in like by default uh, storm crawler gives you uh, most of the features but if there are any unique feature you you want to um, uh, if you want to add on on top of that then you can uh, pretty much do that uh, easily and uh, you need java java coding hands on in order to do this and and uh, it's it's uh, pretty much uh, you know easy to use and um, you just have to understand uh, oh, what goes where who calls what uh, what process so um, having said that uh, let, let's start with some demo okay so here you can see uh, I have uh, I have all the services up and running for me I have components for my Apache Storm I am using Elasticsearch as my uh, destination uh, destination over here so my my workspace is here so it is nothing but uh, this version so here here you can see i have extended all the you know indexer and jsu parser and xpass filter for my my convenience uh, so so here what i'll i'll do is um, i'll quickly show you a demo first thing is um, in elasticsearch we'll be creating some uh, indexes one for the status status for of the URLs whether it is fetched, discovered, and uh, so on, and other is for storing the data that is index, and third would be metrics for uh, representation in uh, Kibana 
Kibana dashboard. So I am creating, clearing the existing ones and recreating the new ones. So once this is done, you can um, here. Yeah, you can find the workspace over here uh, in, in GitHub repository. You can just, uh, you know, follow these instructions and then you can uh, do uh, all of the things. So here, uh, what I'll do is I'll create a package out of this, out of this repository. I pulled it up. So <coughs> Sorry for that. As you can see, it is uh, doing build and uh, compiling the Java classes. Once this is done, what we'll be doing is we'll be using okay. First, first step would be to inject the uh, URL which you want to uh, web scrape. Okay, uh, let's say I have already. You know, given the web website that is uh, https cognizant.com over here okay so I want to do a web scraping on top of this so what I'll do is uh, I'll just execute this one here you can see I am referring to my built jar just now I built over here here and uh, then i am using the upper uh, storm flux flux is uh, is 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 something um which we use to you know give the instructions after the you know this is the class which will be doing this activity parsing the uh, your uh, uh, content and this is the indexer and all those things those are maintained in a um, file okay so that that file is over here Okay, so I am just executing it in a local mode. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna take a while, uh, as like 30 40 seconds to complete this activity. Here, you can see. Okay, before we go there, I'll just show you. I have nothing here, uh, none of the urls are present well, once this process is done i should see https cognizant.com over here as my web scraping page so, So that process is completed and uh, now you can see this is my web scraping URL and its status is discovered okay so once uh, now we are we have given a seed to the storm crawler okay next step would be executed so in order to do that everything remains same we have another uh, flux which will be uh, doing the fetching, parsing, and then you know using JSOOP, uh, getting the elements out of the web page, and uh, so on. Okay, and indexing it into the Elasticsearch. So let's execute this. Yeah, here uh, for understanding purpose uh, since I had extended the classes I wanted to give my own implementation so 
I have given some uh, sysouts over here those are the things which you are seeing here okay what is the content and what is the index name uh, all those things so it is doing all the you know scraping work you now okay so once that is done it will uh, shut down the process now if I go and refresh this guy see I can see uh, you know this one all these things the different URLs that are you know that, that those were present in uh, initial cognizant.com so all those things are uh, fetched so now if you want to see how exactly it looks in uh, Kibana or rather let me open another one over here now status let me put it as index okay here you can see the whole content and uh, the whole content of the page without any html tags is fetched and placed here then uh, here one thing i want to highlight is this part title if you are looking for a particular element or key out of your web page you can get it from title uh, and how do we do that here you can see under uh, under resources you have this parse filters json so this one would be red uh, i know internally uh, this structure would be red and whatever is present here as part of the title would be <coughs> would be fetched here okay that is what the content over here and um, yeah so okay uh, let's see in the kibana so yeah this is what we have done if you want to see it as a json you can do that as well okay it, it, it gives pretty good things and uh, out of the box right um, here they have some uh, visualization JSONs created. I just imported them for my reference. Let's see, I, can I see anything? Settings, objects. Okay, let's see the mat matrix. Here you can see uh, some value. You can see pages fetched, total bytes urls waiting queues and all these things this is just this is just for the reference okay but um, otherwise here you can see everything oh, what is the data and what is the status what are the urls okay. now uh, let's do it for uh, the bbc bbc news so i'm just taking it and um, this is how we push the data to the seeds okay now i'll do the same thing again okay before we do that uh, there are 109 urls being present there. so i'm injecting the new url now Yeah, here you can see the process got completed so let me refresh this so earlier it was 109 now it is 110 so new url has been added but uh, it is not yet fetched so let's go ahead and crawl that website
here you can see one total toll way there Again, the process has kicked up. Here you can see all the what is the you know configuration and everything of your flux. Here you can see a lot of information is being fetched. And since I am printing the logs, uh, you are making out uh, how exactly it is doing, how fast it is doing, and. Um, yeah let's wait for a minute i think it should be done yeah you can see now earlier it was 110 and now it is 308 again if i go and um, refresh this guy now important documents are there so well here you can see it has waited for the bbc sport and uh, things like that okay so yeah this is what we have been doing and um, uh, if you have any questions you can just you know uh, put it in the comment section uh, if i can do or uh, if and i can if i can answer to that then um, yeah definitely i'll help you guys okay thanks for watching the video yeah. bye bye